today we're going to take a look at a website called PNG to SVG. And this is a site that you can use to help you convert images that you find into an SVG file so you can cut it with your Cricut. So I'm going to scroll down here and where it says choose file, I'm going to go find my image I want to use. I've already picked out this really detailed floral image and I know I would not like cleaning this up in Cricut Design Space because of all of those little details in there. Okay, so what I want to do is say the colors are one because I just wanted to look for the black lines. And then I'm going to hit generate. And you're going to see in a second over here, it's going to change to that image. So now when I download that, it drops over here, which goes into my downloads folder. So I'm going to click my file folders, go to my downloads. And here it is right here. And I'm just going to change the name of this and call it Flowers to help me remember what this is. Okay, so now I am going to take this image out of here and put it in a folder where I like to keep all my SVG files just so I can keep them organized. You don't have to do this part, but I just I like to keep them there. So now you can see it says flowers. It's an SVG so because it says .svg. That's the file type. Also, when you look here under the type of file, see right here it says SVG document. That's how I know it's an actual SVG file and not just a picture. So now we're going to go into Cricut Design Space. And when we click Upload, we can upload the image. And now we're going to go to that same folder where we saved the image we just converted. And I'm going to go to SVGs and put it here. And then I called it flowers. There it is. Here's today's date, so I know it's the one I'm looking for. Double click on that to upload it. Now, if this was just an image, we'd have to go through the whole cleanup process. But you can see right here, the image is already cleaned up. All the white parts are removed. So it's not asking me to clean it up. It's just saying save it. So I save. And now it's right here. And I can insert that image and make it bigger if I want which I probably will because otherwise that would be a lot of teeny tiny pieces. But look at how perfectly that cleaned everything up and I didn't have to individually click into each one of those sections. So for your basic black and white crisp images, I say use this tool to create your SVG files. I hope that helped. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube and leave a comment, ask me questions, or drop a link to another SVG file converter that you want me to test out.